We now officially got the confirmation Marvel's Avengers is not a open world game. You're not going to be doing or playing it like you played Marvel's Spider-Man, Grand Theft Auto, or The Witcher, for example. Instead, it's a sort of hybrid that takes a lot of elements from the likes of Destiny. So let's get into this and why maybe you shouldn't be worried if you are because you were expecting an open world game. So first and foremost, let's talk about the hero missions. The hero missions in the game are going to be solo only. So only you yourself can play. You cannot do these missions co-op. These missions are designed to be a little bit more linear with a few branching things here or there, but generally you're going from point A to point B. And these are gonna be mainly played out as story things. So let's say for example, you pick the Hulk you're playing his story every time you're doing the story missions. So essentially, you're getting a single player game with every character that's in the game. Now the next one, and I think the ones that a lot of people are excited for, are Warzone missions. Now Warzone missions are the ones that I think are gonna be really cool. This, you, and up to three players take on a mission by yourself. Now this is where all your stats and gear and everything is going to matter. And the missions here are actually a little bit more open. So let's say if you're Iron Man, you have a little bit of freedom to fly around. If you're Captain America, you still got to be able to cover the same amount of ground, so obviously they can't make it a huge open city because you're going to be taking a long time to get from point A to point B. And this is where they're going to be spending a lot of the time with the co-op aspects of it, making sure everything works together and you guys work together. Now what's interesting is that there are a few Warzone missions that are going to be a little bit more limiting, such as two players, four players, and there might even be, according to teases, Warzone missions that are single player only. Now to me, I'm assuming this is gonna be maybe like a horde mode where you just see how long you can survive or something. Or maybe it's just so you can grind up a little bit more instead of having to replay the solo missions all over again. And this would make a lot of sense. Like let's say if we're constantly playing and I get the best gear I possibly can for let's say Iron Man. Maybe I wanna go test that out quickly and see how overpowered I am compared to earlier levels. I can pick one of those Warzone missions, go into it solo, it'll change the few aspects of it and I can completely plow through it. So a lot of these aspects and the gameplay and what we're going to be doing are starting to make a, are starting to make a little bit more sense and hopefully everything turns out great because I really just can't wait to get my hands on it. You guys let me know how you feel about all these details and as always thank you for watching. If you guys want more content hit the little join button down below where we have an exclusive gaming podcast and tons of exclusive videos like comic book reviews, audio commentaries, and much more.